Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be trying to fix this problem. This Not that one. Not that one. But this one. So if you're getting an RTC battery low on your Tyrannus, which you'll get, I believe, if you've updated your OpenTX firmware, because they now check the real-time clock voltage, uh, we can change this battery out. So the first thing we can do is see if it's actually low. I believe uh, it was the R uh, X X. This is the X9D, isn't it? So X9E. I think some of them have a problem or a bug at some point where they report a low battery, but it isn't. So we can have a look at what the voltage is. If you hold down menu, and then what we're looking for is hardware, I believe. Just gone past it, haven't I? Right, so yeah, in, in hardware, I'm trying to, but you have, I don't know if you can see it here, but you've got, um, battery voltage and you've got RTC bat and at the moment on mine it's reporting that it's at 0 0.63 volts which is low um, so that yeah there you go you were focused why do you focus there you go so you see RTC battery 0 0.63 volts I believe they're supposed to be about one point can't see it either. oh three volts so yeah that's low so if we turn the Tyrannus off, what we're going to do is open up the case. Uh, you may need to slacken the two sh shoulders off. Which you can get a special tool for it, but a flat bladed screwdriver will work. You don't need to take them right off, just loosen them. There we go. take out the battery and what you need is a Phillips head one screwdriver and then there's six screws one two three four five six so we're just going to remove these Right, so now we're at the stage where it comes apart. As I say, watch these switches here. They they come loose. Now this this cable here, you guys won't have. <laughs> so don't worry about that one too much. That is for, um, I've added the extra six way switch. So that's my switch six-way switch which if you want to add one yourself it goes on to here easiest job all right so if you notice on mine let's put it this way up because if we want to work on all my switches i've actually put the letter t which in my head it was for top but it's if i face this way it's correct so they can fall out and it doesn't matter i know which way around they go but what we want to change is this little fella right here which if i show you the packaging this is a 1220 cell so that's what you need to get so what we'll do is we'll remove that so you just pull that little gold thing out and that's the cell out but what i'll do so i should have prepared and got my multimeter ready so it was saying that it was a 0.67 volts so let's, let's check it. Not the easiest, no, not the easier. See that saying? Oh, it's definitely under a volt, 0 0.13 volts. So it definitely needs replacing. All right, and the new cell just drops straight back in. And that's it, the little gold thing clips over. I don't know if I can get it closer, but you can see there's a little gold wire and you slide that to the left to eject it. And when you put it back in, just make sure that slides back over the top. 
So that is the real time clock done. Now I said the hard part is getting it all back together again. So this, I say on, most people don't have this cable, but this is the biggest pain in the ass. But I love having the six way switch and I like where it is. So it's worth it. There we go, get back on. Yeah. Right, another tip, you can see down here, that there, I don't know if you can, it's not focusing, down here I've, I've disconnected the power jack input because I'm using a LiFi cell. You don't charge these things if you've got LiPos or LiFi's in with that um, with that external charge point that's only only to be used if you've got the bloody hell it's gone in first time that's rare um yeah you only use that external charger if you're still using the original nickel metal hydride um cells if you've got lifees or lipos you don't use that so i've disconnected it so no one can use that if you sell it um, with the original battery, it's easy enough just to plug it back in. But yes, yeah, a little tip, it saves, saves costly errors happening. All right, so that's that screwed back together. So we'll just chuck the battery back in quick. These, if you did want to go lifey, these are really good. The Nanotech on, uh, from Hobby King. They've already got the correct plug uh, for the power. The only thing you may need to, I, I changed this one to a servo plug um, for charging, but I think they come with JSTs as default. I can't actually remember. They either come with servo or the JST. Uh, actually, they come with servos. I changed one to JST and I'm going to be changing that to JST as well. Um, but yeah, um, other than the charging plug, they work really well. So, tighten those back up. So there is a proper tool, but the one I've got is aluminium and it just shears off anyway. Um, Okay, that's all good. All right, so now if we turn it back on, there we go. Real time clock error is gone. The clock will be wrong, but we can change that. Again, hold long hold on menu, go to page, and this page is the radio setup. So in here, we can just change it to the correct date. What is it? It's April 22nd. And the time two forty nine. There we go, that's done. And then we can, if we go to the hardware. We go up here, 3.59 for the real time clock. So we can see that's all worked fine. So there you go. If you've got a the RTC battery low message, that's how you do it. Job done. That will last years. All right, thanks for watching. If you found it useful, a thumbs up would be great. Um, if you want to see more videos, um, subscribe and the bell icon to get a reminder when they're launched. But yeah, uh, fly it like you stole it, people. Cheers, bye.